Good afternoon, I'm Susie Nordquist. This is your afternoon news fix for Monday the 13th of November. Average rent prices nationwide have held strong despite uncertainty around the election. TradeMe's latest rental price index shows the country's median weekly rent has remained at $620, where it's sat since June. Property sales director Gavin Lloyd says prices have been stagnant for a while, but it could soon change. Lloyd says National's rental policies might shake things up. As we head into 2024, uh, could be a bit more investors coming back into the market, which will have an impact on the rental market. A 30-year-old man has appeared in Auckland District Court today facing serious assault charges with a weapon. Thomas Rice has more. A boy was allegedly attacked at a pro-Palestine rally yesterday afternoon and is now in stable condition in Starship Hospital. Police say it happened behind Auckland Town Hall as crowds dispersed following the demonstrations. Acting Superintendent Sunny Patel says it wasn't politically motivated and the man has been subject to mental health supervision. For the first time in nearly two years, grocery supplier cost increases have eased. Infometrics data shows the annual rate of growth in October was at 5.4% down from 6.1% the month before. Vegetables NZ Chair John Murphy says the momentum is starting to shift. Right now our growers are actually saying that they're sending market to product right around cost price. So it's a little bit of a dicey one there, but really good for consumers. The outgoing police minister denies being a bully, saying allegations against her are a misunderstanding. Ginny Anderson says she has no recollection of raising her voice at two young volunteers whose mother has laid a complaint, alleging Anderson said they should have done more door knocking. Anderson says she has spoken with the young person who's accepted her apology. I always operate professionally. I've never raised my voice to anyone, volunteer or staff member, and I maintain that. I think it was misunderstanding. I think she's perceived it in a certain way, and I've taken responsibility for that. Iceland is in a state of emergency as fears of volcanic eruptions grow. Thousands of people living in the southwestern town of Grindavik have been evacuated as a precaution. There have been more than 20,000 earthquakes since late October. A man feeling the heat at the weekend is being accused of pulling out what appeared to be a gun when he was busted trying to steal fans from a Dunedin store. Police say a 28-year-old entered a store on Saturday morning allegedly aiming to steal bladeless fans worth about $600. He will appear in the district court today, charged with aggravated robbery and a historical matter. To sport now, and the NRL draw for 2024 is out, and the Warriors have scored four home games in the first six rounds, as well as an Anzac Day match for the first time in nine years. New Zealand golfer Steve Alka has won the PGA Senior Tours season-ending event in Arizona. He says it is a real buzz to triumph against some of the game's greatest. A fight between Kiwi boxer Joseph Parker and American Deontay Wilder is close to being confirmed, with the bout in Saudi Arabia set for Christmas Eve New Zealand time. I'm Susie Nordquist and that's your latest news fix. We will be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.